Well, happy Thursday, everyone. Some changes out there. A little bit of sunshine to start out the day. That was gorgeous. And then a front came on through. It's continuing to make its way through the area. More cloud cover, some breezy winds, and a little bit of a chance of rain, a little bit of chance of some snow. Waking up this morning, a few of us saw some snow showers out there, mainly up in the mountains. Didn't add up to a whole lot in total all of yesterday and all of today. Likely quite a bit less than an inch of snowfall at those higher elevations, but all still very good to see. We're starting to cool things down while we have showers roll on through it. Now we are drying things out for a good part of the day on Friday, but we head into the weekend much stronger systems on the way. A few showers and flurries then we do dry out tonight into tomorrow. Mostly dry Friday, but winds start to increase. Clouds roll in as a new stronger system moves in after about midnight for the coast on Saturday and through the day Saturday with rain for most of us, but snow for the mountains as we go through Saturday and Sunday east of the Cascades. Now seeing more potential of that snow actually making its way on the other side of the mountain. Cold, wet and windy forecast through early next week and not a lot of change from that even beyond next week as we are settling into very wintry conditions over the course of the next week or so. Checking out the coast tonight, mostly cloudy, scattered showers, mostly cloudy tomorrow and windy with rain mainly after midnight tomorrow afternoon and evening. Tomorrow at night into Saturday is where we expect that rain. For the West Valley, it's mostly cloudy, scattered showers and a little bit of a chance of a few snow flurries mixing in at times. Again, won't really impact travel, but some of those higher elevations could be slick on the roadways, so do be careful if you're driving later tonight or early tomorrow morning. Mostly cloudy tomorrow, the partly sunny, cold, so a bit frosty out there as well, and some windy conditions, especially in the South Rogue Valley area around Ashland and in the Shasta Valley and east of the Cascades. Winds will pick up tomorrow as well. With temperatures overnight in the teens and 20s, tomorrow afternoon in the 30s and 40s under mostly sunny skies. Now the seven day forecast, we are done with mostly sunny. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, you've got rain and yes, a little bit of a chance of snow, especially in the morning hours. So late Monday into Tuesday morning, Tuesday into Wednesday, and if the shower continue Wednesday into Thursday, showing the potential of some snow mixing in. Again, it won't add up a whole lot. It's just a little too warm in the afternoons, but there is that potential for snow mixing in with rainfall around the valley floor as we get into next week. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still wind, windy, rainy, snowy conditions for the Klamath Basin. Of course, depending on your elevation, temperatures in the 30s and 40s dropping quite a bit towards Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. Northern California also cooling down a lot towards Tuesday, Wednesday. That'll introduce that chance of snow showers and out on the coast, mainly rain, plenty of it, some snow up in the coastal range mountains, 2,000 to 2,500 feet and above, with showers continuing Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week.